water. Earth. Fire. Fire. Air. For the longest time, the four nations have lived together in harmony. Under the wise leadership of Avatar Roku, the world has experienced an era of peace and prosperity unlike any other. But with the recent death of Avatar Roku after his volcanic island erupted, members of all four nations feel the winds and tides of change. With the search for the new Avatar only just beginning, the world seems poised on the brink of conflict. But without the Avatar, who will save the world? Uh, my name is Bree, also known as Pretty Pixel, and I am playing Sherva, a warrior from the Fire Nation. I'm Andrew, uh, also go by Lucifer. I'm playing Firebender, that goes by Mako Bao. Hello, I'm Ali, and I'm playing Oki, a waterbender from the Northern Water Tribe. I'm Brandon, and I'm Rung Bolo, an earthbender from the Earth Nation. Hey, I'm Dave, and my character is Al, the airbender from the Animates. And I'm Owen, the dungeon master of this ragtag group of members of all four nations. Hello! Hello! Yay! Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome back to the Lost Archives. We're back! Avatar Legends is back tonight. That's right, get excited. Um, oh goodness, we've missed you guys. Unfortunately, I'll, I'll, I'll get the little announcements out of the way super quickly. Unfortunately, Ali can't make it tonight. She's still recovering. Um, we were hoping she might be able to jump on tonight, but she's still still recovering. Um, and Andrew has messaged me last minute. He may have the spicy cough. I'm not sure yet, but he's not feeling super well. So um, I'm going to assume that he's just a little little bish, and um, that he's just he's just tucked in bed with a little little cold. Uh, with but his no, trademark he, beanie on. Just... Yeah, with his trademark beanie on and the headphones over the top of the beanie. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, he's uh, unfortunately he's not feeling super well. Uh, sorry, Andrew, we're, we're being quite cruel, aren't we? Uh, no, unfortunately, there you go. Look, hey, Andrew's in the chat. Look, there he is. Do you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll duplicate your uh, your camera, Brandon, and whenever um, whenever Marco needs to do anything, can you just like flick your your Beanie on Chuck here. Yeah, you, got, you, got, you got it. I feel like um, I'm turning into Dark Kermit when I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I like Dark Kermit as a meme. It's a good meme. Um, but yes, yeah, so unfortunately, those two won't be able to make it. So you won't hear from their characters tonight. I'll play both of their characters uh, while they are away, um, as is my as is my normal normal go to when characters can't join us. Um, I try as much as possible not to play player characters, but sometimes it's it's unavoidable. So I will have to um, have to take over for them while they're absent. Um, thank you everybody who came and joined us for the Tyranny of Dragons stream last night. That was a really, really awesome session. Um, we have had Raph joining us as a guest character for, um, gosh, coming up to like three episodes now, I think. He's been been here a while. So it's been really lovely having Raph on as a guest character. We're almost finished the Tyranny of Dragons campaign. We're coming up to the last few chapters. Bree's doing it too. Amazing. Bree, being Andrew, are you? You just it's just a it's just a um a fire nation thing really it's a fire nation thing all right you're doing it in solidarity um for podcast listeners breeze put her beanie on uh and is now pretending to be andrew in, in a loving way not a mocking way i'm sure um but yeah we're, we're coming up to the last few last few episodes of um of the tyranny of dragons campaign so it's going to be going to be crazy when that wraps up because we've been playing that for uh almost two years which is insane the entire length of the channel that's uh, it's the very first thing we ever streamed on this channel and um, it certainly will not be the last. <laughs> so we'll obviously keep doing Avatar Legends and we've got, uh, very excitingly, we've got our, um, our Storm King's Thunder campaign that'll be taking on, that'll be starting immediately at the end of Tyranny of Dragons. That'll be kicking off immediately at the end of Tyranny of Dragons. Um, and we'll also be launching the Curse of Strahd campaign in the meantime. Now, all of the character art is done. The cast are assembled, characters have been partially created, but we're actually going to do our session zero fairly soon. And that's going to be where we go through and actually create a lot of the backstory. I know a lot of people have asked about doing a session zero so that they could actually see what it looks like to do a session zero, how you come up with the backstory and class features and things like that. So yes, we are going to do that for Curse of Stride. We'll take some time, sit down, do a full session zero, and then launch into the campaign with an episode one. Um, any other announcements? I think that's all from me. Um, Brie, we're still doing Raft on Saturday? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still keen <clears throat> as a bean. No? I am away 
this Saturday. Okay. And late next Thursday. Okay, no worries. I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do something else this Saturday. Then I'll. I'll stream something else. I'll see, oh, I'll, I'll see mm. if I've got some people who really wanted to play Ark Survival Evolved. They've just got it. I've sunk over 800 hours into Ark Survival <laughs> Evolved because I'm a masochist That's and I hate myself. Um, so I've offered to like run like an internship. I know it's a lot. Oh, you should get um, Lucifer in on that one. I'll message him. He has Ark and he loves it. We've we've done some Ark streams. We did one. Mm. Um, we did one only, I was about to say only a couple of months ago, but that may have actually been like six months ago we did that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'll, uh, it I'll host ago. it. It was a while ago. <laughs> so I'm going to do like okay, an internship. so angry, but so many good memories. <laughs> yeah. Arcs, yeah. So much effort building a base. Yeah. And then some dudes just like capture us in our own home. Oh, yeah, I've, got some, a, like, a I've got a, I've got an element T-Rex here. I've got a mech T-Rex. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I was, I was thinking I might run a, run like an internship style thing, like we did with the, um, the phasmophobia stream, Dave, you might remember we ran that, uh, yeah. that was really fun. I, I kind of want to do that again because phasmophobia has had a lot of, uh, a lot of updates. Maybe you should do another phasmophobia stream Ooh, sometime. Yeah. Phasmo has evolved massively since you did that. Okay, great. So I'll, I, what I might do is I'll get someone who's been playing it the whole time and we can literally run the entire internship again and record it. Cause that, I, I thought that was a really funny pretext and context for phasmophobia where like you've got people there who don't know that it's about ghosts and don't know what they're doing and then you've got two other people who do know what they're doing and just trolling the shit out of the two people who don't know it was, it was really a terrifying fun. game it was a, it was just it was terrifying well i'm gonna play it in vr because you can play it in vr with the quest i am gonna do it I'm, i think that'd be really funny so that'll i'll do that stay tuned I'll have more announcements about that soon. That's too funny not to do, so I'll definitely do that. Um, and obviously, again, thank you everybody who's been checking out the Submerged Hidden Depths um, playthrough on YouTube. And uh, as of tonight, only like um, only like 20, 30 minutes ago, I also posted uh, a new episode or a brand new series playing through uh, The Wandering Village, which is a really, really cool game that is on Steam Early Access. I thought I'd give it a go. It's really fun. Um, Check it out. It's very Studio Ghibli. I'm a big Studio Ghibli fan, so uh, I was I was very excited to play this game, and it's very Nausicaa Valley of the Wind inspired. So I recommend checking it out too if you're if you're a fan of that kind of like um, that style and that storytelling mechanism, the Studio Ghibli storytelling storytelling style. And if you're a fan of city building games, because it's like a little minimalist city building game, uh, I imagine there'll be a lot more things coming, a lot more features coming. Uh, awesome. That's all my announcements. Anyone else got anything fun to announce? Anything? Anything interesting? Anything? Brandon, Dave, no. Nah. All right, sweet as. Let's not jump really. into the campaign. Nope. No, that's been, been watching oh, Cyberpunk. Have you guys oh, been watching how... Cyberpunk Edge Runners? Yeah. No, not yet. How is it? Not oh. yet. Is it's it good? Pretty good. darn good. Like okay. as an art, it's amazing. And then and then the story is great. And it's just made me want to go back in and play. I'm one of like the hundred thousand people jumping back into Cyberpunk now. Okay, <clears> I probably so, should jump back to Cyberpunk because okay, I played it, worth it in like the first week or so, and I haven't really gone back to it after then. I have to say. Yeah, I All think the there was just like doing that so much just hate like, on it. Off. Yeah, I just I had yeah. one experience where I went to buy something and I got too close to the merchant or whoever it was who was selling stuff, and I dropped through the world in an infinite glitch loop, and my save was corrupted. And uh, oh, that for just me like was real like, life. just like real life. Yeah, whenever I go to buy things from the shops, <laughs> occasionally I'll go to the self scan <laughs> checkout because I'm too terrified about like actually talking to a human being and being yeah, they, they... into an infinite. They call it all time work. Water. Well, I'm thirsty. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. That so sucks. no, that's yeah, not, nothing too much in my life. I've learned how to make an API. That's kind of fun. Do that. <laughs> that's handy, I think. Cool. <laughs> that's fantastic. Good use that's... of Python. I need to talk All to you I about do at um... my work is argue with people. You just argue with people. That's mm. pretty shit. Because they're wrong. Oh man. <laughs> they always yeah, are. It's... Um, I should say as well, we're, we're not going to do a super crazy long session tonight because I've got to get up super, super early tomorrow morning to head in and assist with um, some surgeries out a very long driveway, about a two hour drive away. I've got to head out rural to help a surgeon with some uh, with some cases. Um, he's using our laser and um, while he is super confident with it, um, it's just a fairly new machine and I've got to be there to make sure it doesn't explode or do anything crazy. Uh, it won't. But... It may turn into that scene of Dead Space 2, just saying. Definitely, <laughs> definitely you know, not. No Dead Space 2, um, laser eyeball. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Uh, it won't do that. Okay. Uh, alrighty. I will quickly do a recap and we'll jump into the story. So, <clears throat> our story has been following Sherva and Marco of the Fire Nation, Rung of the Earth Kingdom, Oki of the Water Tribe, and Arl of the Air Nomads. 
the children of important ambassadors of each of the four nations, they've been attending a historic summit at the Beifong Estate. With the recent death of Avatar Roku following the eruption of his volcanic island home, omens of war and conflict seem numerous. The team are leaving the Northern Border Tribe and heading south with some air nomads. Having trained to calm the rest of the spirits, Oki and the team have successfully appeased the fox spirit of the north and learned that three other spirits still need to be found. After returning from the ruined temple on the iceberg, Arl came across four airbenders, Pion, Legshe, Tien, and Sun, who had traveled north to investigate what they described as a feeling of malevolence among the spirits. After convincing Ahini to accompany them, the group traveled on the back of the Yon the Sky Bison to the Northern Air Temple to seek the wisdom of the air nomads in locating the remaining spirits. After Arl revealed his new abilities to control the weather and, and do some weather bending um, to his old teacher, um, Monk Gyatsu, the party were rewarded with the gift of a sky bison. The sky bison Arl had never been able to have due to the, uh, the severe decline in the population of sky bison at the Northern Air Temple during this period of time, but since being recovered, uh, and Arl now has his, his childhood sky bison <laughs> returned to him. Um, the group have traveled a little bit further towards the southeast in their efforts to try and reach the Eastern Air Temple, flying over the series of mountain ranges and small villages and hamlets located on this journey. They've decided to spend the night camping uh, out in the wilderness under a narrow outcropping of rock, just above a Earth Kingdom, uh, Earth Nation village, I should say, below them. No, it is Earth Kingdom. Earth Kingdom village below them. The group spent some time finding firewood, telling scary stories, and generally getting up to some mischief. However, we did learn that Rum, surprisingly, has an artistic side to him, carving a beautiful figurine of the Sky Bison, who I believe you guys have named Mango. Um, even, in, in, including a tiny little asleep Marco on its back, uh, which Marco purchased from Rung for the price of five silver pieces, I think is what he, he paid you, if I remember correctly. Um, and you were encouraged to, to pursue this artistic, artistic dream. Um, this dream does not go nowhere, this dream goes somewhere, is what you've been told. Um, and then we got a bit sidetracked with AI art trying to create a really accurate depiction of Chirpy, the uh, pet that Rung has, which is a, a sparrow corgi. Um, and we got fairly uh, fairly sidetracked with that. So <laughs> we ended up wrapping up the session as a result of that AI art. So we jumped straight back in where we left off. Um, the night has truly set. The campfire in front of you, spilling embers up into the sky that lose themselves amongst the stars above you. The forest around is dark the wind rustling through the trees and the occasional screeches of the nighttime predators and prey cutting through the air. But around the campfire you feel warm and safe, a gentle crackle lulling you to sleep gently amongst the, amongst the stars. Hini and Oki pull their blankets up and climb inside the makeshift tent that you guys have constructed out of the, um, the side of Mango's saddle. Uh, which is formed almost like an RV style extendable tent, um, this shade cloth tent that's keeping off the rain. Uh, and I believe Rung used some earth bending to help create walls around this, this structure. Um, Marco uh, climbs on the back of, of Mango, sort of snuggles up in his, uh, in his sleeping bag uh, in the saddle and pulls the hood over his head so that he can't, can't be seen, which is like basically a giant caterpillar inside the, uh, inside the saddle, lying on top of the saddle. What would the three of you be doing? Is anyone planning on keeping watch? Would anyone be um, sleeping inside, outside, upside, downside, climbing the trees like a fucking bat, hanging by your talent? No, wait, that's... No. Yeah, what would you guys not be doing? Not from what we know is in those trees, those viper owls. No, not going <laughs> yeah. near the top of those trees. <laughs> Don't think we forget about the viper owls. Um, uh, Rung would be keeping watch. He's just going to keep carving more stones and... He's going to try and tap into this sort of like unknown power he had over stone to make art. He's like, there's something in here just wants to be let out. I've got to make it free. And he has a moustache and he's twirling it. I'll keep watch, I swear, as he puts his head down to make more rock. Ooh, could I get you to roll me roll me with focus again, please? I want to see how well the follow-up follow up artistic creations are. I'd, actually, I'd say focus or creativity. Your go. choice. All right, let's go. Um... Uh, page reload. It was wigging at me. Uh, let's go. Focus. I'm ready. Uh, two, nine. Nine. Partial success. Um, not as good as your first attempt. Um, what would Rung be trying to carve, do you reckon? Are you trying to carve like the town so of Lagoa? I carved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, trying to carve yeah. the coal mine. Yeah, like, so you use this like, uh, shaft. A rock. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to carve this like, into coal. It's pretty much just like a rock. Little cave entrance with like little pillars there, like the like little mine entrance, like that. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is just where we go in every morning. It's beautiful. Look at the pathway. <laughs> I mean, it starts off going really, really well, and then because there's no way to excavate what you're earth bending, and you're trying to use your finger to create these little like earth bending <laughs> movements, the rock cracks in half, and you sort of pull it open to reveal two halves of the inside of the mine shaft. While it's good to have that inside view, that sort of that that cutaway view the x-ray view into the mine you realize that as well like you've actually not been very accurate as you look through the mines are completely in the wrong direction i mean one of them is on a parallel cut into a seam of coal which is absolutely unacceptable you want to be going on a straight and then down to be able to access the greatest degree of uh, of workable coal and salvageable coal and you sort of find yourself a bit disappointed in this in this particular endeavor it's all right but you know you could have done better there's like subpar disgusting gone directly past the line of blade <laughs> throws over the air guess it was just a one hit one just you just fucking ping it into the dark is that is that their thought am i understanding yeah, that correctly he's just like <laughs> okay. I, guess, like, I guess like usually you think you just sort of throw it but since he's an earth bender he like launches it essentially you passed him <laughs> ah. um, um, just just <laughs> <laughs> you just the rock just disappears um so you hear this crash as it powers through some sections of trees and branches and then there's silence for a while and then you hear this weird sort of screeching cry that <laughs> from the darkness and Ron's just like <laughs> Maybe it was one of those viper owls. Six. Yeah, six down into the <laughs> six down into the bushes. <laughs> yep. um, Marco, who like is on top of the saddle, hears this like sits bolt upright and goes, "Dad, oh no, having a dream." Just, I'm, 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 I'm really sure he'd be like, "Daddy, daddy." <laughs> He's not here to defend himself. Daddy, sorry. He's not here to defend himself, so he sits up and goes, "Daddy, oh, I miss you, daddy, <laughs> papa." Papa, <laughs> we come down to the papers. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, Papa, <laughs> and lies back down again. Uh, Sherva, what would you be doing? Obviously, my. I'd be. <laughs> I would be sitting against the like rocky outcroppings that um, Rung put up, and facing towards the trees, and kind of just relaxing, but not sleeping, not entirely trusting Rung to actually keep watch of anything. Yeah, it's fair. That's fair. So um, one eye. <laughs> in that case then Rung and Sherva you're both keeping watch could you both please roll with focus oh while these two are rolling with their focuses what would you be doing absolute success um, for Rung that's 12 I'll be taking the opportunity to get some rest it's been a long few days um, and he's going to tell the others that oh look whenever you guys are ready for bed just wake me up and I'll take the um, second half of the watch um, and I'll tell you, do you want me to tell you now what he would do later or? or yeah, tell us now, tell us now. That's perfect. Yeah. So when he, when he is keeping watch later, I think he'd just be experimenting with the weather bending, seeing like if he can like <clears throat> split warm air, like, like in, if there's a volume of air in front of him, he, he's going to try and separate warm air from the cold air in that like small volume of space and just seeing how that would work. Yeah, absolutely. The warm air cold air separation that you're doing as you, as you sort of focus and begin to use this bending could you roll with harmony for me please oh i am a neutrally harmonious person mm -hmm. that is a miss with a five as you it begin explodes. to focus <laughs> as you begin to focus and try and pull the air apart you, you're really struggling to separate the warm and cold air not not because of any failure of you to air bend but more because without putting your hands out and feeling it, it's very hard for you to differentiate. And you don't quite know what you're supposed to be focusing on to, to sort of pull this alignment within you to find this this moment of balance to be able to manipulate the, the temperatures. You're kind of, you feel like you're going in blind almost as you, as you reach and try to locate. You struggle, as you try and pull it apart, you just find yourself mixing the air and just making a little like gust of wind in front of you. Do, do I have any insight on like if that is, like if it's even possible, or am I just moving air around and just like oh no, this isn't working. from from that roll? You don't know if it's possible or not. Like you feel probably yeah. a little bit downhearted with that that miss. I mean that's a it's a pretty sad state of affairs. Um, I'd almost I'd almost say like you feel a bit embarrassed almost. But uh, okay, well I'll try that for like four hours while he waits. The kid keeps watching. 
Okay, so okay, perfect. So so you have a sleep first, then wake up for your watch, and then yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Right. I, I see my watch the second half of the night. Yeah, so that's fine. Like, that's absolutely fine. Um, all right, let's go to the people taking the first watch. Sherva and Rug. Sherva. Seven. The night is quiet. Not used to sleeping outdoors. Um, you're used to sleeping inside in, in a nice bed. Um, I mean, probably in the Recently. last... Recently! I was going to say, in the last like two weeks, you've had to get pretty used to it. But before <laughs> that, um, yeah, it's been it's it's been, been a bit rough sleeping. This is probably the more comfortable sleeping you've done out, out in the wilds. But yeah, you're probably still not quite used to the sounds that you hear. You're probably more used to the sound people make around you as you're sleeping in a city or in a, or in a, um, a location that's quite populated. Out here, it's almost the silence that really keeps you awake. Then the sounds of nature, the occasional spooky cry of some owl, some viper owl out in the distance, um, the occasional sort of tumble of rocks as they fall off the side of this um, this narrow mountain pass. Yeah, it's it's you're aware of it. You're constantly aware of that of that sort of noise around you. Um, occasionally, you find yourself sort of turning to look at things that you can't really see or that aren't there. But overall, keep a good watch. Um, you don't fall asleep during your watch. You're able to stay awake and focused. You don't see anything of any particular interest or any or any danger approaching the party. Um, you do hear Marco mumbling in his sleep. Um, it's hard to make out at first, and then as you focus a little bit more, you can hear him like still muttering about different wishes that he's going to make. Yeah. Uh, rung, 14. No, 12, sorry. Absolute success, 12. For 14 was before for your uh, focus roll. It gets your first carving. Yeah, first carving. 12 with your uh, your search roll. Yeah, you're you're quite used to sleeping under the stars. Sometimes um, sometimes in the, in the village of Laiwowo, it's not a particularly rich town yeah nice <laughs> it's not a particularly rich town um not particularly um involved sometimes there'd be parties out in the fields or out in the uh, the areas around the mines and get a bit drunk get a bit get a bit feisty and then sleep out under the stars um and you're kind of used to the sounds of nature and the the, the sounds around you and you find yourself sort of recognizing some of the cries like oh yeah there's uh, some sort of like a flying thing yeah doesn't like cold does like some sort of like scratching thing. Doesn't eat coal. You're pretty okay. And sort of like know the dain- the sounds of things that eat coal. You can't hear any of those here, so you're feeling pretty good. Um, towards midnight, though, right as you're sort of getting ready to switch over with Arl and um, and have Arl take over for the watch, you sort of find yourself noticing what looks to be a chain of lights, a line of firelight moving from the village, almost like a group of torches moving along what looks to be maybe a road far in the distance. It's hard to spot through the trees, but you get a bit of a look, and as you sort of earthbend yourself up a little bit higher, maybe partly up the side of the mountain to have a closer look, or at least a look above the trees, you can see yeah, a line of torches heading into the darkness, away from the town, away from the lights of the town, um, heading south, maybe four or five torches. Hmm. Look, just so they're like bug-eyed, and slowly wearing out, his focus disappears. And he's like, What was that noise? Dun, 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 he's out. Hmm. Should I go there myself? Can I see, like, how far out is it from where I'm, like, sort of seeing it? If, like, if I'm sitting here and, like, I move up, like, like 10 meters or so, do I get a better view of it? Or is it like, oh, well and no, truly off? Very, very far away. You, yeah, you guys deliberately um, camped quite a distance away from the town so that you wouldn't be seen uh, and spotted. Yeah, yeah. We're talking a couple of Ks. Maybe like a couple of Ks away. Yeah. God, my vision's amazing. No, but it's the um, contrast. I'll you can see to... the lights moving in the darkness. It's ah, just that, yeah. It is very uh, <laughs> yeah. If it was during the day, you might notice like Zooms figures in. maybe, but it's just it's just the contrast. The light shining through um, in the darkness creates this very visible visible line of, of, of figures moving. You can't see who you can't see what, what what's moving, you can't see what it is, but you can see yeah. that probably it's it looks like, like just about lights. maybe four or five torches. Yeah. You, you, just because the size of Run. them tells you they look like tiny tiny candles in the darkness. Congrats of like a rock next to him and he like just sort of shoots out like a little hole and he goes, Shepard, look over there. And he tells a look through <laughs> the hole in the rock. Like <laughs> you see that across there. 
with Rung pointing it out, <laughs> surely you can you can see it. Rung pointing it out sort of gives you access, and also like him uh, creating a very small platform that allows you to get up above the tree line and see it really helps as well. So sort of through the trees, it was difficult to spot. You reckon Rung just got lucky out of the corner of his eye, must have seen a little bit of movement, a bit of light. You could have seen this. You would have been. You would have got this. Is what you think? I, I was I was on the other side of the the yeah, rocks. I, I, exactly. I couldn't have yeah. seen it past the, yeah. the giant, you know, yeah. the giant buffalo thing. Exactly. That's giant buffalo. <laughs> That's actually worse, I think. <laughs> bison. Bison. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> Sky bison. Sorry. Yeah. I know. I remember what things are called in this world. <laughs> His name's Mango and he's beautiful. <laughs> Buffalo <laughs> Stampede. Her, her name is Mango. <laughs> she, that's correct. Her name is Mango. Damn yeah, it. you yeah. can see Sherva, now that you're looking, yeah, and with Rung's help pointing it out, this line of lights, tiny pinpricks of light in the darkness, moving along, away from the town, heading what looks to be sort of vaguely southeast. Is you wanna... Trekking Albi key never squeeze for us? I... Can you see in the dark? I'm so uncomfortable with sending him off on his own to scout ever since the sea surfing incident. It's great. No, oh, the test of strength. I think that's where he got his manhood. I'm pretty sure that day right there and then. Like, Is he even still awake? He's filling out more. I was asleep right now. Yeah, he's having a good old nap. How long has no, he been asleep, asleep for? You guys have been watching on watch for about sort of three hours or so. Okay. So he's we wouldn't... Good, yeah. It's probably a good spot in his REM cycle to wake him up. Yeah, yeah, it's REM you, cycle. You, you can wake him. <laughs> yeah, sure. He <laughs> loves you. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Just right. throw a rock at I'm him. Re- <laughs> Sorry, podcast listeners. <laughs> like, just there's like this pegging little rocks at him. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, if I've when you say little rocks, are, you like, are we talking pebbles? Are we talking like gravel? <laughs> How? What, what, <laughs> They're like, they're like, you know, little okay. five cent piece yeah. rocks. Little yeah, little, little. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just, Where's just your REM cycle? Know. Can I ride the REM cycle too? Oh, God. <laughs> I love Harry <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Ben. <laughs> are you um, awake? It's like, I you mentioned Alice snoring. What's the chances of one of them getting in my mouth? Oh, I think, I think we can let the dice gods decide that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Rung, could you please roll me a, um, oh, I want to say, what was that? Harmony. Harmony? <laughs> no, it's not. It's Harmony? Going rocks at someone. <laughs> no, it'd be focus all day, every day. Yeah, it'd be focus. Mm. Yeah, I think focus makes sense. Yeah, I'm happy for it to be focus. I believe. I believe. Ooh. Well, should I try something else? Six. No, six, six is a miss. Uh, you, you are unable to get this in uh, in Al's mouth. <laughs> you really try, but it's just it's little little bitch. He's just he's he's snoring so much and he's moving around a little bit. And his mouth's like opening and closing. He's like one of those um he's like one of those clowns at like any good Australian like carnival. It's like <laughs> mouth open, moving around, slowly turning their head. It, all Australians know what I'm talking about. Um, it's just yeah. it's moving. Well, I'm trying to realize you don't know. have to throw it in there. Yeah. You, you try a few times. One of them gets him right on the forehead, and that's when Al wakes up. As you're like going for the math, you're like, I got it. I got it. And then it's just right in his forehead. It's pretty much dark, right? It's pretty dark, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, you, you just hear you just hear Al stop snoring, like suddenly, and like snort. And you hear him like scrambling around, just touching the ground. And he, he's, pe- he's picked up the stone. That rung fire oh, I should in. say your campfire is still burning, so there's light around where you guys are, but it is okay, okay. dark night. But Al very subtly, you, you just see Al very quietly picks up the stone that was flung at him and tries to read what's written on it. Al, <laughs> 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 oh, you take it over the campfire and look. It's a tiny pebble. You're like looking for this microscopic writing, but you can't see any writing on this pebble. You wait. Gravel. Gravel. Are you, are you, are you trying to give me a message? What's a, is, is something wrong? Oh, yeah. Sure, man. Sorry. Except a bigger one. Oh, oh you're yeah. under attack. Wake. Wait, no. Uh, it's W K E. No, W A K E. Cross. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you wake. Yes. <laughs> you can you can stage you can stage cool. whisper for cool. the purpose of the podcast. Yes, okay. I'm awake. Are you awake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shiver and I are still awake. We actually seen something. We're wondering if, like, if it's not an issue. Uh, 
uh, you might want to have a little look for us. And I'll like I'll lead him over to where Sherva and I are, and sort of like get my little rock, little telescope I've made, but not rock binoculars. I'm like, hey, check this rock out. Rock binoculars. <laughs> rock binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna do some rock connoisseurs like with my rock binoculars. <laughs> um, okay, but it's total Flintstones moment. Binoculars. Binoculars is good too. Ah, oh, binoculars. Binoculars is better. Yeah. yeah. Rock connoisseurs with your binoculars. That's nice. <laughs> Wait, if. If Rung has too much to drink at home, does he wake up in the morning and have a Baraka? Oh, that get out. That's it. You're <laughs> muted. You're muted. It's muted, everybody. You're not going to be able to hear Brandon for the rest of the session. I've muted him. Ah, no, sorry. You can come back. Oh, Without the two players. But it's not, it's not even a pun. You just said Baraka. Like, it's not even a pun. Yeah. It's not even a pun. <laughs> but it has a K in it. Yeah, it's got a K in it. It's, it's, it's a written down pun that you only enjoy in, in text form. Um, For yeah, people who might not know what Baraka is, is that an Australian thing or is that elsewhere? Can you find Baraka overseas? Uh, it's GSK, is it? Sure. I don't know. Baraka is like a little, like a like a little tablet, I guess. That you drop into. Yeah, yeah, you like drop it into a drink and drinks. it fizzes and bubbles and makes it flavored and full of electrolytes and sugars. People swear by it, but it could also be a scam. Who knows? Yeah, pretty confident it might be. Um, <laughs> yeah. All I know is that Australian school children during the so anyone born in the nineties in Australia knows that there's something known as the Baraka Challenge, which is where during year nine and year ten for most people in Australia. Uh, people would bring barocas to school and you'd have to put a number of them in your mouth and see how many you could keep in your mouth because obviously the moisture in your mouth activates the fizzing and you would start vomiting up like orange foam. Uh, you guys are looking at me like you didn't do that. I thought this was a universal Australian We thing. did a lot of dumb things and we that. didn't do that one. We did some what? really <laughs> dumb things in the country. Yeah, this, was, <laughs> this must be a Queensland and New South Wales thing. I'm actually surprised. It must be a Queenslander thing. No, but it's not because Brandon didn't do it. Maybe this is just maybe yeah, this is just my school. New South I Wales. Was, I've spoken to people in New South Wales and Victoria who did this. It was not just me. I mean, what I didn't do it. We were just when were you in school? When was I in school? Oh, uh, yeah. Like mid two thousands. So like two thousand and because I, I graduated twenty eleven. So it would have been like two thousand eight, two thousand and nine. Oh, you okay. youngins. Youngins. I, I graduated in two thousand fifteen, and no one in my school did that. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. That's good to know. Uh, maybe, Archie, maybe Archie's letting orange. me know. Archie's letting me know. Barocca is from Switzerland. Thank you, Archie. It's a good fact. Thank you for your fun fact. Um, he never did the Barocca challenge, and he's from the Gold Coast. Oh, shit. Thank you, Swiss. <laughs> well, yeah, it is pretend, in America uh, and UK as well. Yeah. The most go. people should know what we're talking about. In which case, if you did the Barocca challenge, please put please a comment know. or yeah. <laughs> let us know, know please. No, do you know like... what? Do you know what? If you did the Barocca challenge, comment. If you didn't do the Barocca challenge, subscribe and like this video. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and um, rate us on IMDb. Yes, I thank you. Ah, yeah, yeah. um, oh, Archie and I graduated the same year. That's hilarious. Shroopy, Shroopy did seven. See, Shroopy's As done it. No, 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 he's kidding. Um, like 2011 seven, as well. He would have died. Like, genuinely, <laughs> you could do, like, three before they started to actually, like, react with all the moisture in your mouth. It was, a, it was terrible. It was such a bad idea. See, we, like, was, I was out of school before, again. like, the Cinnamon Challenge. Yeah. Or, like, around the same time as Cinnamon Challenge. No one really did that in my school, but we mostly no. did the Chubby Bunny Challenge and things like that. Oh, that's lame. That's just, that's delicious. Yeah. It's got it's to be, at, like, a little bit dangerous for it to be fun. <laughs> I think everyone in my school pretty much just played Ooh. Knuckles. Yeah, we did Knuckles. Um, Knuckles mm. What was one of our ones? Oh, we, our, our big one that we got in huge trouble for. I, this this is worth it. I, I know this is an aside. <laughs> Wait, it goes in your mouth. <laughs> no, <it should> be. <laughs> well done, buddy. Um, Ew. One, one of the ones we did that we got in trouble for, our chemistry department wasn't super well maintained. They were switching over to a new building. And so the chemistry supplies cupboard wasn't locked for about six months. And me and a bunch of the other chemistry students, I've never been caught for this, so I probably shouldn't reveal this, but we stole some sodium from the chemistry cupboard, got a drink bottle, put <laughs> the sodium in the drink bottle, oh, man. closed it up. Oh, wow. That was intense. Um, for, for those of you who don't know what happens when you mix sodium and water, um, Echo boom, echo boom, <laughs> big boom, Explosion. really big boom, really, really big boom. Um, and we just had water balloon. Yeah, so we did that, and that was we. So no, we weren't caught, but there was a huge amount of trouble because they and they thought it was the year above us because I think they'd just done some stuff on like um, on the um, reactive metals, and so like they they'd just been taught about it, so they, but they assumed it must have been one of those students. It wasn't. It was me and four other people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, except it wasn't allegedly allegedly i know of some people who did this i'm cutting that uh, <laughs> some people in my school did some really irresponsible stuff i that was allegedly allegedly yeah um 
All right, here we go. I want to Let's say, like, to talking about dumb things as a kid, okay, we'd well, go well. swimming in, like, a place called Blue Lagoon, and we'd be like, oh, wow, this place is so cool. It's so blue. This water's amazing. You go jumping off into this big sort of pit. It had these big cliffs, and it was like, let me guess. Blue, it's a limestone blue quarry, water. and that's quicklime. Uh, old arsenic mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's almost worse. Well, that's almost worse than quicklime. There's an old quarry near my uh, near my place where I grew up, and it's an old it limestone so... quarry, and it's filled up with rain, and so now the rain has leached the lime and formed quicklime, which is an yeah. industrial solvent and acid. People swim in it to this day and still have to go to the doctors because they've melted their eardrums yeah. by swimming in it. It's just... Not surprised. The water was like Mediterranean blue, like you were just out. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> This explains so much about how well you play wrong. Mm. <laughs> yeah, literally. I grew up in a town that had every kid go see lead ted with lead poisoning, which is a normal thing. Yeah, well. And no one else had lead ted, I found out. <laughs> lead ted? I've never heard of lead ted. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Quick one. Sorry, everyone. Podcast. Right. <laughs> lead ted's a teddy bear you see as a kid. He's a big teddy bear. And he takes your blood and draws your blood. And you test to it check how for much lead lead's poisoning. in your body for going in a mining town. Yeah, wow. so you see Lead Ted as a kid. <laughs> okay, there's definitely going to be an Avatar Legends version of Lead Ted that you will meet when you visit Lai Wo. I've That's like, I feel yes. like Cole Lung. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get back into it. Um, so yeah, uh, as, as Rung sort of brings you up to this little rock platform he's made, Sherva's there too. Um, you can look out and see, yeah, this, this line of lights, torches, now quite a distance away from the village. It looks like whoever this is whatever whatever this is whoever this is they're moving fairly quickly a brisk walk maybe a bit of a jog um as they seem to be running away from the village you also notice now the three of you looking together and helping each other you can see that the lights in the village seem to be getting brighter torches being lit around and very faintly over the sound of the of the forest around you you can hear maybe what could be cries of alarm people talking loudly echoing through the valley below but it's hard to know what the like definitely not able to make out what's being said just the occasional sound and actually i should say as well a couple of um uh, of ferret dogs barking in the night as well that you can hear echoing off the cliffs around you god a ferret dog sounds horrific why why am i incapable of like describing cute avatar animals why is it always got to be some fucking like cthulian monstrosity yeah it's some sort of a <laughs> some sort of squid pug uh it's called like, the face of a squid <laughs> on a pug body and then like people people get peanut butter on their fingers and feed it and it goes <laughs> over the peanut butter <laughs> okay yes. but like the, the elder the brain requires pugs good. yes <laughs> The duck, duck deer. deer was okay. That was probably the only peaked, monster you've made that early. was decent. Yeah, everything else. Monster. That was the only non-monster I've made. Everything else is a monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not Chirpy, yeah. though. And you still think Chirpy's cute. Fucking Chirpy, monster. I, I don't think Chirpy's cute. I know Chirpy's cute. I'm God. I decide that in this game. It's fucking ugly. Yeah, cute is your So he can't be objectively cute. No, he is, he is objectively on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being Marco no, he, and, and 10 being Chirpy. He's, he's, he's Chirpy. He's subjectively <laughs> cute to God. Okay, that's fair. And every, every other like, character, every other character you're going to interact with. So I'm, I'm automatically in the majority because <laughs> I'm, I'm, every, I'm every NPC. Yes, I am consensus. I <laughs> All right, carry on. Do you guys want me to fly over and, and have a look? Does he look like he's being chased to you guys? Choose that. Oh, they, does it look like they're being chased? Hard to say. I, I mean, no other lights have left the town yet. Just these sort of four or five flickering points of light in the darkness moving away from the town at possibly a brisk They could just be travellers. They could just be nomads leaving the town for the night. Although I don't know why they would travel at night. And have all that ruckus when they're leaving. Um, I, I can go fly over and have a just you like the bird's eye view. Right? I mean, no better than you can, Ron. Oh, I thought there would have been this cool power we should go up, like weather vision or something. I don't know. No, he can't feel cold. Cool. <laughs> he can't feel cold. You don't need a coat. It's good you don't need a coat. Yes. Oh, wait, can we test that? Can you go touch some fire? Well, I think the fire would burn me, but if it's like weather heat, I think that would be all right. Yeah. So I, I would say I would say you do remember like... speaking to Monk Gyatsu and Monk Gyatsu said to you 
kind of specifically. It's just the cold. It's it's that you've got a really good buffer of resistance yeah. to temperature. Well, are, you are resistant to changes in temperature. You can still get burned, still get frozen. That's what you remember. Yeah, I, I think I think there's like an insulation of air around me, but it's not like if I touch something cold that I won't feel cold. I mean, it sounds really like you as an NM had to be resistant to change. We are pioneers of change. <laughs> um, <laughs> should, should we just, uh, the, the old men in the library didn't look like they were changing anytime soon. I'm pretty sure they've been changed in 100 millennia. They've literally <laughs> been know? rewriting the same scripts for years. <laughs> and rechanging the scripts to new ones. Um, do you, mm-hmm. Should we wake Oki and ask, ask her to keep an eye on Marco and... You hear from, over and have a look. You hear from inside the little tent. Maybe you could let Oki sleep. <laughs> As Oki pulls the blankets up over her head. <laughs> yeah, no, and maybe, awesome. maybe you could move about yeah, yeah, ten yeah, more I meters over away from people who are trying <laughs> to sleep. And you hear Marco go like, oh, "Dad." <laughs> <laughs> Sounds serious. serious. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll 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 just go for a fly because this I feel uncomfortable by that sound. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll grab his glider and kind of like he flies towards the light, but way up high, and he's also noting, like he's also keeping his bearings relative to where um, Rung and Sherbra are, so awesome. I don't get lost because there's a fire there as well. But like. Great. Could I get you to please roll me with focus, Arl, as you are attempting a uh, quite a dangerous maneuver flying at night? This is something that you've been absolutely... Is that you just then? Absolute success? Yeah. 13? Well, oh my god. It's not like there are obstacles in the air. It's only like... like I'm not going to fly into a tree up like... Yeah, but there's, the there's bats and stuff. Like, right, let's, just, let's put it this way. Planes get taken out by flying into birds at night. So, I mean, a little a little boy in his glider could be potentially bad. <laughs> Maybe no. don't tell the GM, ho oh, ho, there's nothing that could hurt me here because he'll find something. I'm above the height of the, the Viper <laughs> owls, I think. No, they, 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 they're fucking up. They're in space. <laughs> they, can, <laughs> they can fly in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, um, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Elon Musk is finding it. Sorry, let me rephrase. Sorry, sorry. Remember. Uh, M- Milon, Milon Husk, a, uh, an Earth Kingdom uh, inventor, is working on a, on a powered a ship that is, uh, is powered by a whole bunch of uh, a Viper House tied to the front of a craft that just, just takes off a vertical ascent. Um, Milon, Milon Husk. Elon Husk. That is, I'm going to have to write that down because 100% I'm going to need to bring him back. Let me just write that down so I don't forget. Sounds like an Earthbender name. The problem is, though, written out, it's Melon Husk. Yeah, it's so really... <laughs> I'm going to just Melon forget Musk. what that is. <laughs> Melon Husk. Elon Musk clone. But two E's. Earthbender. Oh, that's a great idea. Melon Husk. Thank you very much. How did you not think of that? Look, hey, sometimes, sometimes my brain, very, very quickly, sometimes my brain, boom, 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 boom doesn't oh, you're <laughs> phonetically thinking about it right you just thought phonetically of Elon Husk. Yeah. yeah yeah um so uh Al, as you as you take off this, <laughs> the air pushing out from underneath you as you take off into the sky you haven't done many night flights before um luckily because you were not facing the fire just before you took off and you've been trying to strain through the darkness looking for these tiny points of light your dark vision has maintained its integrity the moon also being uh, waning at this point, not fully, um, uh, not a full sliver, but actually more of like a, maybe just under a half moon is still providing a fair bit of light. And for a cloudless night as well, the stars are creating a, quite, a, quite a lot of um, illumination around you that you can rely on to see. As you take off and begin flying up quite high to avoid any of the potential trees and impacts, you can see a few flocks of what look to be um, goldfish bats sort of flying overhead heading out to try and harvest uh, the moon algae that come out in the night and, and begin like hovering around the clouds yeah that's right uh, they'd be cute goldfish bats can you imagine the, the gaping mouth of a goldfish going blob, 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 with bat wings <laughs> getting that it's just eaten and literally it's, just eating all night it's not terrifying yeah, yeah. Just going, yeah that's, not, that's not scary at all um, yeah. This is nightmare fuel. Maybe I should maybe I should have a podcast where I just talk about nightmare fuel. I'll just come up with horrific monsters uh, and just they uh, they, they give um, some fairy tales of the, uh, of the of the goldfish bats at, at the um, temple. So I was very familiar you with the true crime YouTubers. 
It's like yeah, people that sleep too. It's like yes, and then Jeffrey Dahmer did this. Jesus, like, oh, don't know, lovely. don't don't listen to true crime before you go to bed. Um, but yeah, you, you flap, and it doesn't take too long for you to get a little bit closer and see what's going on. And Al, you can actually hear a lot more as you get closer. I, I would say also, Sherva and Rung, you begin to hear this sound too—the ringing of what seems to be a town bell. This dolorous, doom, 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 echoing out over the valley. Al, as you fly down lower, you can see the lights resolving themselves into a bunch of figures pushing a cart through the darkness. One of them in front, sort of holding the front and running with it, and the others behind, running alongside them, holding torches aloft. About What's in the cart? Can I see? Looks to be something covered with a shade cloth, uh, maybe Damages. barrels of some sort or, uh, or crates of some sort. And then back towards the town, you can see what looks to be a very rough militia forming. Uh, a group of Earth Kingdom farmers dressed in their night clothes, uh, very simple tunics, wielding pitchforks and lighting torches, ready to what looks to be chase after these people. Save the cabbages. Um, are the is the 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 cart isn't running towards Sherva and Marco, is it? It's running towards the south uh, east. So actually, you guys are, are away southwest from west of the village. Yep. So it's actually running yep. towards the southeast, so a little bit away from you down what looks to be a pathway between rows of corn and wheat. If I tuck in and get aerodynamic, how long will it take me to get to the town-ish? Oh, five, the militia? ten minutes. Yeah, five, ten minutes. Oh, shoot. I should have figured out a signal for Sherva and Marco. Um, I guess I'll... Okay, and they're going the opposite way from the town from us, aren't they? So... Um... Oh, shit. I'll go to the town and ask them what's happening. And then double back to pick up Sherva and Rung, but that's going to take a while. Would we be able to see him in the sky, like the bright orange of his glider? In, in the night without a source of light illuminating him, <laughs> the, 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 the bright I mean, orange just becomes dark. You said the moon was pretty bright. The moon's pretty bright, but the moon's shining down above him. You're underneath yeah, him, so you're looking up darkness so he'd be a shadow against the sky above he'd actually be even harder to spot that's right i, I know I, I know optics i know how the light works um if I'd, i was to fly out with a torch yeah I'd that'd be visible torch. yeah be very visible um and i'm about two minutes away from the others because i haven't got all the way to the town yet right so so you've you haven't gone so so the way you've kind of flown you're about sort of five ten minutes flying quite quickly to get to this point where you're looking down the group of people with the cart moving away from the town probably would be a two minute flight straight down towards them to head back towards the town probably another five minutes to get there could you carry your voice along air mm. to reach us is that is that a is, is that a feasible thing not without other people hearing because sound <laughs> like would over space like go outwards so i would like alert everyone that we're like in the area what if you treat your voice like at Questacon, one of those like little like, the air gun thing. The other, you shoot the air gun, it shoots like a thing of air. What if you did that for your voice? You'd be like, be nice. Like, shh. <laughs> I, I think it, it would probably be very complex, yeah. like yeah. air bending, because you'd have to kind of try to create a vacuum around the tunnel of air that yeah. you're trying Otherwise, to push your voice yeah. along. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and and over greater distances, this is gonna get more and more diffuse. Okay, I'll I'll fly back to the others takes you sort of four or five minutes to fly back um the wind now behind you giving you a bit of extra push as you as you reach back sherva and uh, rung you two have sort of been watching this develop the lights getting further away from the village and now some other lights leaving the village and a group of maybe eight nine torches leaving the village as i begins flying back to you um he emerges out of the darkness and lands right next to you pulling his glider back up into a staff and placing it on his back super cool i'm trying to look as oh. cool as i can in the moonlight oh you're successful oh, oh. That was amazing. For whom the bell tolls? Oh, nice. uh, I think they're trying to. I think someone's stealing a cart of something, and it looks like the people in the town are about to try and chase them and hunt it down. Do you guys want to jump on Mango and check this out? Yeah. Yeah. We, we can try to head off the cart yeah. and stop the thieves. Yeah, and I can, I can, I can group up with Sorry, the um, with Mango. the town people and try to try to get some information and then catch up with you guys. Mm-hmm. Wait, you, you, uh, um, we can't fly the sky bison, friend. I mean, yeah, sure we can. Mm. Do a sand ship. We've done a boat. 
this is just a live vote or live sand shit. What if we have? Oh, wait a second. Got this. <coughs> Brung pulls out his rucksack. I've got a tart left. You wouldn't just like hold it in front of her. Dangle it in front. Make her go the, the way state. we want. Exactly. We're on the same wavelength. This is incredible. I mean... <laughs> wait, what do I have in my pack? Hold. Yeah, no, no, you guys have a point. Maybe, maybe we'll just head the cart off and let's just let's just jump on the bison and talk about it on the way. Oh, yeah, no, fun. Okay. Probably just as fast as being on a bison, yeah. just going by yourself. Who's faster, I or a bison? Who's faster? I'm, sure I'm faster. Probably... When, I, when, when I'm trying to speed, I'm, I'm faster. I believe. Al is very, Small very statement. fast. Yeah. When he closes <laughs> in and, and takes off, he can move very, very quickly. But um, um, Mango is still faster than the cart, though. I'd, I'd say Mango. Oh, Mango is a lot cart. faster yeah. than the cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. I think we just we try to stop the cart. We just cut them off, stop them, and let the townspeople catch up. And then, I mean, we'll get the whole story when they've caught up to them, won't we? Yeah, that sounds good. That, yeah, I think that does might it, work. Did, did it look the cart like the cart was running to cover, or is it just an open road for like the longest of time? Um, it looks like it's an open road through uh, fields, through fields of wheat and corn. Um, you're not sure where the road leads eventually. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. I assume we're just um, okay. Let's let's just get on and start moving. Uh, mango, mango. Yeah. You hear like uh, mango, like here, right? Begin like rolling over uh, as mango does so the canvas tent that's covering a heating oki gets pulled back up again by the uh, the action of uh, of mango sort of moving and then standing up oki who's like lying on the ground looks up at you guys through one eye goes what the fuck are you guys doing that's all right you go back to sleep have a good night we'll, we'll just wake up in a rem cycle we're just we... <laughs> rung make a roof so if yeah. it rains we don't get wet please I'm okay. <laughs> he makes a roof. You just but kick down at the ground and make a triangular roof that shoots up and covers the um, covers the area of the the open section. But, yeah, this TP just forms above them. Um, but it doesn't. I make sure like whether or not she knows or not the TP doesn't quite meet. There's just enough gap in the middle of the TP. <laughs> <laughs> they don't notice. Um, they they just they, they don't see it. Um, it's all right. It's it's not cloudy. It probably won't rain anyway, guys. Okay, we'll we'll come back soon. Damn. If only there's a way we can make clouds. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you guys take off, um, uh, Mango sort of pushing off the ground and taking off into the air. Uh, you begin flying up over the treetops uh, as you get towards the town. So you guys enter the town first, right? Well, we're, we're heading in that direction. Do you guys want to like try and pick up? someone from the militia and take him with us and they can explain on the way to the what do you reckon cart or do you reckon the militia is good or the person running away is good i mean the militia is from the town so unless all, the whole town That's, is like remember this town was like the one that did bad things to like <clears throat> um <clears throat> But it's not of like mangoes. the whole town they did was bad thing to other mangoes. They yeah, I don't know. Paint, paint with a large stroke brush, whatever the saying is. Okay, okay we didn't let's... really paint things in my town that often. But what maybe, you... maybe if you run over to the people that are being chased, we ask them how they're doing, what they're doing, and then we know whether or not they're bad or good. What do you think, Shava? Well, I'm thinking what could possibly be in a cart that's worth stealing from a town of potential bad people. That would mean that the people stealing it are good. You know what I mean? It, it looks like they're stealing some form of supplies. Obviously, we don't know this full story. Yeah, but okay. if we can... It's is it just yeah. us three going? Okay. As you as Marco you look as you look, you can see Marco is still tucked up <clears> in the back <throat> of Mango, having I very clearly described him sleeping in the saddle. And as you turn yeah. around and look, you're like, oh, is it just us three? Marco sits up, wrapped up in his sleeping bag, and goes, "Why are we in the air? Why? Okay. What is going on?" Perfect. We have some firepower, so Green. if we <laughs> if we um 
head them off and find out what's going on and then we need to help deal with the town if they're bad then we've got some decent firepower to do it and if we need to do something to the robbers then it'll be easy because there's a few people okay sounds good let's go and we'll just try this not to kill anyone town we'll just hatch randomly yep yep mango <laughs> all right town town first or heading we're so, we going place. straight to the cart i believe cart. cart straight to the cart okay um, straight to the cart Mango flies quickly over the fields. With Marco sort of providing a bit of light by creating some fire in his hands and shining it around, you can sort of see a little bit of the area around you, having to get a little bit closer to the ground to be able to chase down the, the cart that's being pushed. It doesn't take Mango more than about four minutes to catch up to the cart from where she is. And as she lands in front of the cart... Oh, actually, no, sorry. I should, I should pass over to you. So, yeah, you, you bring Mango around. Um, I'll describe how you... Yeah, what do you, what do, you do with Mango? I should, I should actually leave that up to you. Yeah, I think I think uh, hmm. you guys want to cut it off. Do you think we should just go next to it for a bit and, and ch- chat with them while they're running in case they are good? Go next to it so we can find out yeah. what's going on, and then we can either cut them off or we can block the road to stop the townspeople. Okay, I I, I yeah. pet I pet Mango. I reckon, like, <laughs> sorry, go on. I was gonna say, do you reckon like if they're bad, Mango can just like tail swipe, just like clear them out. I mean, Mango's got a strong tail, but if the if the cart's pretty strong, Mango could hurt her tail or get like. It, we don't know what's in the cart, that, right? We don't know. We don't know what's in the cart. It could be something explosive. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but good idea, wrong. Oh, you should you should tail swipe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should tail. You should tail swipe the cart. Do it. Um, Do it. What's it full of? Nitroglycerin. Yeah, hey, you. <laughs> We can all jump on the cart. It's full of sodium. <laughs> Nothing but sodium How? and water on this cart. <laughs> How um, big are the? You said it looked like it had barrels under it. Can yeah, we? Yeah, I was, see I was, I was literally, I was literally about to see if Archie <laughs> wanted to jump in and play as Aquila, hiding inside one of the barrels on the cart. But he's just let me know his camera's not set up. I genuinely was going to bring him in and be like, as as you like land, one of the barrels opens and Aquila's there, and he's like, "What are you guys doing here?" <laughs> These are my puppets. I'm getting it's like surprised to Let's make my new life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But again, Aquila has let us down. Barrels of blood. <laughs> Barrels oh of God. blood. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> meanwhile, Ogi is in there again. Right? <laughs> Aquila, you don't need your camera because I haven't got the overlay set up for you, so you don't actually need the camera. I'm happy just to bring you in as audio only. Say the word and you're in. Um, Al, as you as you bring up the the bison alongside. Uh, oh, alongside so, the so, so so so. Um, I'll, I'll pet um, Mango on the side. Okay, okay, girl, we'll do formation 36. <laughs> and um, it's like we're coming down, we're lowering ourselves, and it's like she, she her legs start running before she even lands. And so it's like one of those landing, and then she runs at the same time to like keep up with the cart. So it's like the smoothest landing that you've ever seen. Okay, I really am going to need some sort of like animal handling check to run this off. Uh, the closest equivalent in uh it is it, yeah i'm gonna say okay. skills and training what you just described i think is accurate yeah, yeah. I, I, I named it a, i named it a formation right so i'm half tempted to, to say it's a trick it's like because it's like you're not tricking but you're doing a trick so i'm like yeah it kind of counts as trick uh that's a 10 absolute success I'm absolute success sure nice um Oh, yeah, you've, you've practiced these movements many, many times, these maneuvers, in, in theory. You've never done them. I think, I think this is my first time doing it with Mango. Yeah, and also but probably all, your first all, time all of them are trained. doing it in, in real life. Because um, you've done it in theory, but you don't have a bison of your own to but try this out with. But Mango it's is true. well trained. I had to use Mango's, the ranch bisons. Yeah, Mango, Mango's very well trained. Mango's been set up for success despite being a younger bison. She's clearly had a, a very a, a firm teacher. Um, to help guide her in the maneuvers that the air nomads know so well as her legs begin like kicking in the air like you know like you've got a, like a dog holding it above the water and like kicks its legs like swimming that's how she starts as you like get a little bit closer and a little bit closer like little legs like kicking in the air and then suddenly with a sudden thump she drops that last little bit and the legs just begin running alongside the cart um the people on the cart and running alongside the cart scream um and drop their torches some of them like throw themselves into the cornfields on either side because from their perspective a giant six-legged bison drops out of the darkness next to them <laughs> with no warning because Mango doesn't make any noise when she flies. A 
apart from the occasional <laughs> but there's no Tesla. sound of flapping wings she's completely silent like a stealth bomber so this giant bison just drops out of the night sky next to them um they they shit their pants they two of them just throw themselves into the bushes one of them just throws himself in front of the cart and like crouches down inside one of the barrels um that you can see sort of sitting at the back you can see sitting on the barrel uh, a person who's sitting on the barrel drops backwards off it and falls into the cart uh, with a crash and goes ah as they drop into the cart um akila you've been traveling with this group of youths for a couple of days now you've been hanging out with them for a couple of days they've been they've been fairly cool on your journey to try and redeem yourself and find yourself in a, in a position of um of redemption you came to this very tiny town in the in the earth kingdom it's the, it's the sort of northernmost town of the earth kingdom from where the northern water tribe is located you spent a day or two there i don't want to say corrupting the local youth but like hanging out with them and one of the one of the youths one of the earth nation youths told you about a stockpile of delicious delicious alcohol that had been kept by the village elders for special ceremonies and that they were planning to steal it at their earliest convenience thinking this plan might potentially get you in trouble but also get you access to delicious drink you've gone along with it um you weren't planning on sticking around in town too much longer anyway when they tell you they're planning to leave in the middle of the night to you that kind of sounds like a normal thing to do uh, Akila's a bit of a bit of a rapscallion that's ditching somewhere likes in the middle to of run the... away from his problems yeah likes to run away from his problems preferably in the middle of the night so for you you're just like yeah it's fine um suddenly out of nowhere a giant like six meter long bison flying bison with six legs drops out of the night sky next to the cart that you are on with these kids um and you find yourself sort of falling backwards into the cart in a sudden rush as this bison just drops out of nowhere um marco still in his sleeping bag wrapped up around his neck with the hood up covering his little head so he still looks like a little caterpillar has his hands like coming out from inside gets a little bit of fire and goes i'll set you all on fire if you move pew, pew, pew. nobody move I burn I you all. Hand. Would we have seen Akila? Would it have been bright enough for no. us to have seen his face? You, and you literally, all you saw was a figure dropping backwards into the cart. Um, just a heads has up, the Ak- cuts Archie. You are, yes, it has. Yeah, just heads up, Archie. You are muted, just so you know. Oh, he didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like everyone's ignoring me. Neighbor, uh, everyone ignores me. What do you know, Matt Wilders? He's yeah. fallen back. We haven't seen who it is. You, don't, you haven't seen who it is yet. But as you, and the as you land, the carts come to a relative stop. The carts come to a jarring halt. The person who is running okay. in front just cowers down, and the cart bumps into the back of them, sending them sprawling onto the dirt road. You see in front of you clearly four teenagers, um, and you assume teenager who's fallen backwards into the cart onto the uh, onto the the shade cloth onto the um, the tarpaulin. Um, two girls, two boys all like carrying in fear from this sky bison that just dropped out of the night sky the one who was pushing the cart this rather buff looking earthbender sort of like dusts himself off stands up turns around getting ready to do some like earthbending and goes wait it's just it's just air nomads guys it's just air nomads it's okay it's okay it's not our parents <laughs> what are you guys yeah, it's doing just air nomads. <laughs> what do you mean what are you what are you doing uh, are your parents the people chasing uh- you I don't know. Probably we yeah, stole all the best booze. So, where, where are you guys running to? We've got a special little camp over over here. Our, one of our new friends is uh, is going to help us out. Uh, have some have some drinks. He said he had to head somewhere else. Where, where is where is Akila? He like starts looking around. Akila. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 Akila, you sort Akila. Of sit up inside the cart, dusting yourself off. Oh, uh, oh, uh, um. Long time. <laughs> not really. It's been what? like two days. Not really, actually. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing reason, here? I've uh, just, just been a bit busy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you taken any of their blood? No, I, I, I told you I was I was going to stop. I'm, I'm a man of my word. Um, look at, what, look at the other vendors. Yeah, How are you guys feeling? Been wheezy lately? Lightheaded. <laughs> the the earthbender, the the boy who's been speaking to you. I should I should describe it a little bit. So sort of sixteen to seventeen years old by your guess, quite tall, quite muscular, wearing quite similar clothing to Rung. Um a like bit more guy. dusty and a bit more a bit more torn. Um hair tied back into a very short ponytail, uh, as well as some pretty large sideburns that sort of pull down to a very wispy, half formed beard. Um 
Yeah, sort of looks at you guys. Uh, yeah, dark, dark, dark hair and tan skin. Looks at you guys and goes, "Wait, do you guys know? Do you guys know Akila? Do you know Aki?" Uh, uh no is a strong Akeela. word. No, you befriended. Like Aki befriended is pretty strong. I think that's a good word. <laughs> he tried to kill Ooh. us. Uh, uh, Wait, uh, what? what? He, he never he actually that, tried to kill way. us. He led us to the that. spirit portal, and we all nearly died. It's and it was okay. entirely <laughs> his fault Marco that we ended inside. up there. Marco still inside his sleeping bag like a caterpillar goes, pretty sure he was going to sacrifice me. Um, just, <laughs> just saying. Just, uh... Exactly. <laughs> I was only... It wasn't sacrifice. It was just... You're not taking him to a camp for this sacrificial along. thing, are you? It was just push along. <laughs> But he did the right thing in the end, right? Like, he, he, he didn't... You guys needed to go to the spirit portal. Like, it's not like I took you somewhere where you didn't need to go. Yeah, it turned oh, out that's kill, not I, where I we kill... needed to go. And also, sorry, again, and I stand by this, wasn't my... wasn't my idea to go there. But you're gonna do it anyway. The, the main thing you're is taking the right these kids thing. with alcohol out to like a camp somewhere just saying did was this Aki's idea to bring alcohol with you guys out somewhere remote in the oh. forest by yourselves don't, don't make it sound like that <laughs> 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 I was gonna say have, have you guys tried this alcohol have you seen anyone this one of one of the girls who threw herself into the cornfields like pushes the corner side and climbs back out and dusts off some of the leaves and dirt and goes uh, no, no, no. This was this was our idea. We just like Aki's been like pretty cool. Like, we don't get many travelers in our village. He can do some like cool water bending, so we like used him to help freeze some of the doors shut, so we could quickly get all this stuff. And he could like freeze locks open using some water bending, so that was really helpful to get access to the booze. But no, this was our idea, man. We just wanted and to. He can control your body and make you move how he wants you to, mm. and turn you into a marionette doll. Yeah. This, He's real fun. This He's really great. Tall, I'd say sorry to hang out and do laundry here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, like I said, I have not done that since um, the incident. Yeah, and I, I, mean, like, I apologize for it. So what, more Mar- you, what more Mar- do you Mar- want? Marco can burn people alive. It's not like it's mm-hmm. not like what mm-hmm. we can do that, that defines us, <laughs> right? Like mm-hmm. He did the right thing in the end. <laughs> Marco's just nodding like, yeah, I could. If I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a really tall, lanky okay, earthbender. Okay, maybe the we one should who... reset this. Yeah. Oh, you're saying, no, no, you go, you go. I was just going to say, maybe we should reset this. We did just fly next to you guys, obviously on a good night out. Maybe there's a weird Jonestown thing going on. I don't know. And we did, we just did come here and crap on you, Aki. I don't know if I'm going to say the S word, but I don't know. I don't want to say the S word. <laughs> is there another is it, word? Is sorry? Like, well, sorry. What's the S word? Oh, I that, spent that one, way too I don't long to trying to figure one. out what the S word <laughs> <Yeah>. was. <laughs> I was like, is this some new swear word? I don't know, because we say shit all the time. So, this. Like, so. Is this some new word? I don't know. <laughs> Cider? Is that what you're trying to say? That's right. We're using smeg now. You bit of a spider. <laughs> Not smeg. No. Um, this tall, lanky earthbender. <laughs> no muscles at all. Really lanky. Like Again, like pulls himself around the cart. because like, Whoa, you can control people with your mind? It's crazy, dude. You know, in a, in a way. Um, but I don't I don't I don't do that anymore. I would okay, totally well... control my mom to like get off my back, not like literally, but like metaphorically. Seriously, I... kill these guys? <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> There's no one else around. Hey, I'm like I'm like the chief upgrade. of our like little coal mine. Look, I've got a badge, and that pulls out a badge that looks <laughs> very similar. Oh, <laughs> Sick, man. <laughs> nice, man. Uh, do a little bit more better with the badge work itself, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. It's nice. As you look wrong at his badge, he's the chief officer of Iron Ore, but it's not O R E. It's Iron O R. And then dot yeah. dot dot. I don't know why. Oh what? Yeah. Well, that's the or thing, what? right? If it's not iron, then we're not interested. So it's like iron or nothing. There's not a lot cold? to do out here, but okay? Iron. <laughs> yeah. I just, want, 
Iron's cool, but you I can't make iron without heat, and you need heat to make it. So coal is obviously superior. Just saying, like it, I love iron, like I love all my mining friends and the Earth Nation, but you just you are won't you, make anything. Are you being coal. serial right now? Like, how can you even mine coal unless you've got like iron tools? You could well, use wood to we, burn things. First, what we you don't do need coal. We, well, what we first did, we started punching trees, and now those trees are made pickaxes, and then from those pickaxes, then we hit some stones, and we got some cobblestone, we smelted the cobblestone no, 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 no. down. If you're describing how Minecraft works, then that's not, <laughs> I'm not letting that fly. You cannot <laughs> make stone tools by smelting cobblestone. That's not a thing. Are you saying Minecraft isn't accurate? I'm telling you right now, no, no, it's don't fucking not accurate. I forgot. <laughs> unmodded, unmodded. Thank Mods you, make it okay. But... Um... <laughs> The whole town is running towards us. Maybe we should get you guys somewhere so that we can talk to you and try to block off the road for the people who are running this way. Hey, hey, if your bison flies us away, we're not going to get grounded, get it? Because like, we're like, fly. I like look at Sherva with like desperation in my eyes. Like, just please take me back. <laughs> 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 that got me, man. <laughs> uh, single tear. Um, how far away is this hiding place? Oh, I think it's like back this way. No, 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 mate. It's it's a hundred, like hundred twenty meters down the road. Um, no, no. We're at the cornfields. We've got to go right. Yeah. Okay, okay everyone, get on the bison. Lost. Wait, do, do your parents know that you're the ones who stole it? Like, does any did anyone see your faces? No, we we weren't disguises, man. Look, and he like pulls his shirt up around his mouth, so that it's like covering up his nose. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's see. That's a good disguise. That's especially what I'd imagine an iron miner would do. It's good. Marco, no, Marco why? looks over and goes, with his hands still pushing out with the fire through the little sleeping bag. He's like. Why don't why don't you earthbenders? Sorry, yeah, yeah. Why don't you earthbenders put one of those barrels on the bison, and then as you guys get the rest of the cart ready, we'll help a keeler up on the bison, and then we'll take off and carry the cart. You guys can like hold onto the cart and carry you underneath the cart. Huh? How does that sound? Huh? And then Marco leans over towards you guys and goes, "Let's get a keeler on the bison, take a barrel, and leave them here." I'm down with that idea. Yeah, that makes sense. That sounds fair. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, he said. Um, I'll just I'll set up like some. I just go. Climb up. I make some stairs up to the bison. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah, we got we got stairs to carry a barrel up to the bison. Yep, nice and easy. Do, 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 do. You guys wait down there. Just carry this one up first. Akila, give me a hand. Yeah, I, I, I I'm like just, ooh, you're on the okay, other end. Yep. All right, Akila, you climb on the bison. You can see Marco yeah. again, like wrapped up in a sleeping bag, like a big caterpillar, with the, and his head and hands poking out the top. Um, hey, Marco, do you know what would be really funny? Yeah. Sorry, you, know how... yeah. <laughs> you know how uh, yeah, alcohol, bro. What's it can funny, be bro. really explosive fun? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. It could be, really could be some up. real explosive fun as we fly away. Mm. And it might kill them too. That'll be fine. Am would, I would mine like explode a... like that if you just light it on fire? It would at least burn it all up. Depends which would be funny. Alcohol, depends on what alcohol it is. If it's spirits, yes. If it's yeah, like wine or beer, it's wine, yeah. no. To me, <laughs> it's just gonna. Yeah. If it's mead, still not gonna catch fire. It's, it's I tried. just like mainly water, yeah. Yeah, I tried, I tried to set my meat on fire. Yeah. I wanted to see. Why? I wanted Why to see <laughs> yeah, you, you, don't, you don't make a Molotov from me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a waste of good meat and it doesn't work. Just imagine like your partner walking downstairs at night, just like, what are you doing down here? They're just like a lighter. Nothing. <laughs> no, look at me. Like one of those really long. Go back to bed. <laughs> Barbecue lighter. <laughs> a super long match. <laughs> um, yeah, Akil Akila's on the back of on the back of Mango. Um, yeah, Akila, as you look, like this Sky Bison, while young, like pretty damn big you've probably not seen a sky bison up close before the fur is oh, no. super soft as you climb on like it's really nice and soft probably reminds you of when you used to sleep in beds when you were like quite a, a favored son of the water tribe before oh, you've like been forced into really exile away. yeah good days just yep. three days ago yeah no, it's, it's been it's been at least a week so it has 
Achilles had a bit of a bit of time to reflect upon his mistakes and uh, and the the comfort of uh, of the water tribe versus the uh, the, the road the comfort of the floor. Yeah, <laughs> versus the Earth Kingdom, which is just one big stone floor, basically. Comfort um, of the freezing perfect. ocean yeah. that you've jumped yep. into twice now. <laughs> hey, look, when you've got a problem, yeah, <laughs> ocean, take me, baby. Um, Kill them, solve it. As, as yeah, as you, as you climb on, um, the rest of them are still like mucking about with the cart. Like, yeah, we're ready to go. Like, take us away. No Alice parents. Yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> just go it, get those uh, just barrels go. for us. How, how far away is the militia? Quick. Uh, you Quick. can see the lights getting closer over the horizon, like starting to light up the cornfield. Do you reckon maybe like five minutes away? Sounds like a good time to you. Yeah, yeah. Is that a yeah, five-minute fly or a five-minute walk? Five-minute yep, yep. jog for these guys. Okay. Um, Marco looks at the wheels of the cart yep, yep. and then looks at you guys and then looks at the wheels of the cart and then gets I'll a lot of flame in his hands. I'll nod. Marco <laughs> flings a fireball at the wheels of the cart to break one of the wheels and try and set it on fire. Go, 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 Mango. Mango. Takes off. Um, Akila, this, your, this being your first time on Bison Back, you just drop into the saddle bodily as you fall. The, the sort of full gravity pushing down on you as you drop as, as Mango just takes off near vertical ascension um, into the dark night sky. Uh, you hear the sound of the teenagers going like, what the fuck? As the cart begins burning slightly. And you see like, um, you see Marco leaning over the edge being like, mm, yeah, that was too much flame. Um, that was too much. Just nah, it's fine. Do you remember mm. when oh, when you guys got angry at me for trying to kill one person? <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah. <sighs> and I aimed them. And at yes, least four the people person down there. Knew. We're not trying to, try to kill... kill them. Well, you also did say explode the barrels near them. I just said it could be explosive fun to have alcohol. From below I don't know what you. you're trying to insinuate. We all know it's poison anyway. From below you, you can't a massive poison. light suddenly illuminates the area around you. You hear this incredible <laughs> pulse of air as it pushes, you, uh, pushes Mango and slightly knocks him off course as you hear the sound of an enormous cloud. explosion, a mushroom cloud rising from the fields below you. No, no, none of that happens. Um, the cut just <laughs> smells. The, <military> as well. <laughs> the cut just but you can't explain the poison behind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Achille, you know that they've stolen beer. Like when they said the finest, like the, the good stuff. Yeah, it's they're just, also teenagers. So. Yeah, it's just some beer. <laughs> <laughs> And the bit as well to keep in mind is like when they said the good stuff, it's like it's the newest because they don't really know how alcohol works. So like ah. you kind of knew this at the time and you were like, oh, okay. Whatever. So it's like it's recently brewed. It's probably not going to be that alcoholic yet or taste that good. You were sort of like just like, oh, well, you guys are leaving at the same time. Gives me a chance to sneak out of the town when I need to sneak out. Keep in mind also that mm -hmm. we are all also teenagers. That's a good point. That's a good point. In yeah, that case, then it's the good really, shit. It's the good shit. Smells really, <laughs> smells really yeasty up here. Like someone's <laughs> making bread or something. Yeah. <sighs> it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> um, Killer, did you, did you eat bread and fart? What's that smell? What's that? Fair was not warning. Me. Fair warning, Akila. <laughs> um, Oki and Ahini are both back at our camp. Okay. Well, I'll be good to see them again. That's the spirit. That's the spirit I <laughs> Marco, Marco looks at you guys. Have you enjoyed having both arms? Like, that must have been fun for a bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all grown over this past week or so. Well, as long as you can grow arms back, you'll be fine, mate. <laughs> yeah, you a lizard. <laughs> Can you blood bend another arm? It'll be fine. Can you blood bend me another arm? <laughs> Where are you gonna stick another I, arm? I don't think you want right. to. <laughs> Imagine how much I could lift. <laughs> I could be a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how much coal I could lift if I had another arm. Marco Two pushes rung off the side arms. of the bison. <laughs> just, just disappear from. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's not a Marco move. Rung that's just an wants to be move. the best dude from like Mortal Kombat <laughs> now. 
Oh my god. You guys know that. Just fly. Oh, wait. You guys know that Killer didn't actually try to kill Marco, right? Like, they just needed some of his blood. They didn't say he was going to kill him, right? Did they? Yeah, the other dude wanted all of it. Did you want all of his blood? Like, it's been a. I. I didn't want all of his blood. See, Marco. (laughs) Did you want almost all of my blood? I didn't want all of your blood. <laughs> well, I mean, that's good, that's good enough, enough for me. That's good. Enough. I'm yeah. convinced. That sounds. That sounds good enough for me. He would die, but. I mean, he stuff. did also help so you guys cool. get to the temple. Yeah, exactly. So I, that's he, true, guys. we had we had fun. You needed to be. Yeah, we yeah, had we had fun leaving Shadow. Had those like the polar bears we had were going crazy. He stopped them for us. Do they stop themselves? No, I'm pretty sure he used blood bending wrong. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just really good at I thought I was just really good animal handler for a second there. Damn. I guess no, the I killer really I has been the one just guiding us in this path the entire time. Uh, by this point, see. Mango has basically arrived back at your campsite <laughs> as you guys come in for the landing. You see Ahini and Oki sitting by the fire, like sharing a little bit of um, what looks to be some sort of like fruit they've they've opened up. And as you guys land, Oki's my like, stomach starts to like grumble. squirm a little bit when I see Oki. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, I'll jump to the bison, and he's like, "Morning, girls. Um, you never guess who we found? Yeah, an old friend. <laughs> oh, great. Who'd, who'd you find, Al?" Uh, says Oki. Um, we found we found old mate Akila. Oki he was, just um, drops. Oki you know, just Aki. drops what she's holding. <laughs> drops the thing on the ground, what she's holding, and gets this like look in her eye. And he just places an arm around her shoulder and goes, "It'll be great to see Akila again. I'm sure he's done a lot of growing since we last saw him, and he's he's really sorry for what he did. Isn't that yes, right, Akila? He, he's been apologizing this whole time." Akila, is there anything you want to say to the girls? Hi. <laughs> um, Hi, Akila. Progress. Ahini nudges how? Oki. Hi, Akila. How, how, how are we doing? We were doing really well. So now you're doing even better. That's great. <laughs> uh, it's been. Uh, how, uh, how's the, how's uh, how's your week been? Busy, <laughs> learning lots about spirits. Hmm. Hmm. That's good. I'm. I'm happy that I was able to help you, um, along that path for learning about spirits. Um, I am deeply sorry for whatever may have happened um, when we last saw each other. But you guys are looking. You're, you're all looking well. We, we shouldn't try to hurt um, Akila because, like, when we come across the other spirits, we'll probably have to deal with Yavu again, and Akila could be a really good asset for that. Look, I'm willing to give him another chance, and I think it would be a good idea for all of us to be in on the decision and no trying to cut arms off. How are we feeling? Ahini nods, then looks at Oki, who's not nodding. Nudges Oki. Oki does a single nod. It's settled then. Well, it's great to be back. <laughs> blood, blood bend and nod. Do you reckon you can blood bend her nodding? Oh, God. Stop if, that, Rung. <laughs> if I w- was to blood bend, I could. But like I said, I have not blood bended for a, at least a week. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all right, that's good enough for me. Let's. He needs to look and goes. So, like, where did you find Akila, and what were like you? Like, why did you fly off in the middle of the night? Like, what's? Oh, idiot was hanging around with a bunch of degenerate iron miners. Tell you, never hang around people who mine iron. They're never good for anything. Terrible people. We look saw some stone out lights. <laughs> We saw some lights off in the distance. We went to investigate it, and we found a killer with a couple of teenagers running around being stupid. So, generous. Okay. So now those teenagers know that we're in the area. No. Yes. Yeah, no. so... I mean, we're leaving now anyway. But like, 
They they know they they weren't the smartest of the bunch, so we'll be all right. They they're more worried about getting in trouble from their mothers and fathers. Akila, you were hanging out with them, right? Like, what was your impression? Not very smart. <laughs> I think we'll be I think we'll be fine when we all take off together as a happy <laughs> as a happy group. <laughs> Oki just like nods. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to try and get some more sleep. It's, it's pretty late. Or is it early? Pretty early. I think I'm going to try pretty and get some more sleep early. before we take off. We did, yeah. We should we all try and get a little bit of rest. Okay. Um, yeah. Akila, are you hungry? Uh, I could I could eat, yeah. Um, I grab out two of my uh, one of my mango tiles, I just remembered how big they are, and Ooh, pass yeah. it over to Akila. Um, yeah, uh, Shiva hands you like a, a like a family dinner pie sized <laughs> mango tart, <laughs> like an apple, like a big family share apple pie sized mango tart. Um, it looks um, delicious. Whatever you don't eat, you can give to the bison. You want me to feed mango, mango? Um, Achille, you become very aware of a giant bison head right behind you, breathing heavily on you <laughs> as you're holding this mango tart. How do you She's think she got the name? Actually, a mango. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she just really likes it. <laughs> She uh, looks a bit different from my uh, Sky Bison uh, puppet. Yeah, um, you, had, you hadn't seen one before, so like I, I don't blame you, but now you could make a better one. I could. Do you still and have did, his one? Have did you puppet? take the other puppets? Uh, you've got your the puppets, bag missing. Akila. Do I? Did I take them? Yeah, you got them. Okay, I couldn't remember if I took okay. them all or... Yeah, now you've got them all. Okay. okay, yeah, oh, I, I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was going to be a plot twist when neither of us took them. <laughs> <laughs> I was tempted, I was tempted, then I was like, but who would take these puppets? Like, there's no logical explanation for why they'd be missing. Yeah, we would have taken them. It's just a pointless, it's a pointless thing. While Marco's asleep, I grab yeah, out my little statue terrible. I made that Marco bought off me, and I show it to Aki. Just go into Marco's yeah. things, pull out this statue, and then hand it over to Aki. Yeah. Just, like, just, no, no. yeah. just chucking shit out. Yeah. <laughs> Like, ah, there it is. Why is it on the bottom, you monster? <laughs> um, Rung Check hands you a tiny <laughs> statuette of Mango but with a tiny sleeping uh, Marco on the back. It's really good. It's really well carved. Oh, wow! This is a uh, this is uh, impressive. Did you you did this all by yourself? Well, I took a bit of inspiration from what you had before for the puppets. As creepy as they were at the time, it was the idea was there. I would just sort of fluck this out like this. He bought it off me. He paid me five silver for it. I don't even think it's worth that much. Anyway, I I would so pay what I could do. four silver for that. Would you now? Yeah, maybe you should start a <laughs> little side <laughs> business. Rung, you've already you sold the Marco. Uh, not on me. But oh, like, yeah, if I had I silver, I would. Ah. You can sell things twice, right? Cut you up. Is that how it works? You know, money. Not if you weren't the person who bought it the first time, I think. <laughs> That's how we do trade. I can't trade a cabbage and then trade that cabbage again. Oh. Yeah. You can, it's just not ethical. Just gonna... That's that's futures uh, cabbages. Okay. That's that's like a very different money business. We're trading future cabbages. Because technically if you sell shorting this, you the cabbage it. market. <laughs> Oh. Future cabbage industry. This is stealing a piece of sleep. He doesn't know. Yes. Marco, Marco's behind you, like sitting upright, looking at you. Like, okay, fine. <laughs> Where's my bison? Oh, hey, man. <laughs> what do you think? Just showing your bison is. off. There you go. Hey, man. Where's my bison? It's, uh, it's really cool. I don't know. When someone like hurt you for it, knows that you did it. Oh, gosh, I never sold before. I have, anyway, I have, here I it have is. Either bison back or my money back. You pick. Oh, you can have the bison you back. You can have the bison just, back. I was just looking. <laughs> Don't go through my stuff. <laughs> Don't touch my shit. Okay. Yeah, wrong. <laughs> you should wash your eyes more often. <laughs> smells in there. <laughs> it's none of your business. Don't touch my stuff. Marco lies back down and pulls the blanket back over his head. <laughs> like a like a chrysalis. <laughs> Drops inside his chrysalis. <laughs> And then Marco sits up and goes, wait, did you say you'd, you'd buy it for four silver? Yeah, if I had four would silver. You go, would you go six? Hmm? I mean, if I had six, I don't I don't even have two silver. Okay. But I'm saying if I did. <laughs> it disappears back <laughs> under the blankets. What if, 
What if I give you six silver, then you could buy it? <laughs> yeah, I think that works. Yeah, yeah. Oh Wait, my no. God. I mean, if, if you want. <laughs> did, did they not pay you, um, Akila, as a um, as a uh, spirit as a seer. thing that you were? Seer. <laughs> spirit thing. A- Haney looks at you struggling and goes, a- Spirit a- man. A seer? No, normally it's not a position we pay people for. You got, you got paid in other ways, right? Like food and drink covered, like your accommodation, things like that. Right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, my facilities were paid for. So when you left the water like, tribe, you, you literally left labor. nothing. Well, I had nothing to begin with apart from my puppets. That's so sad. <sighs> That's even more creepy. No one understand why. It's sad. <laughs> And and the clothes on my back. <laughs> here's Rung gives him a silver piece. Look, here is your first possession aside from your puppets <laughs> and your clothes. I I sometimes put on <laughs> shows. One silver piece. <laughs> I put on shows with the puppets, and I, sometimes I get you know not tips, but I get you know sometimes they'll buy me food. When you say buy you food, do you mean they'll, like, purchase food and give it to you, or do they throw food at you? Um, I was thinking the same thing. Like, I'm thinking about tomatoes or, like, things like that. Food of both. And when you say shows, do you mean, like, your creepy puppets? My my beautiful puppets, yeah. We can agree. You you mean me, Nahini. Chop my okies. I can see why. You would chop Oki's sister's arms off. I mean, if they did that to you. Okay, let's not maybe not bring that up. (laughs) I'm just saying, yeah, like, I, he's I had look, a terrible upbringing. I look at Oki and I'm like, again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but he has the right to be mad, but not justified. But, given the context, I feel sorry for your killer. Oki stands up and walks away and goes and sits down over by the fire, lies down into her blanket. Rung, you're not making be this better. <laughs> I thought I was helping. Haney walks well, over to you, Rung, okay, places I mean, a hand on your shoulder. Been... And then he gets a muzzle out of ice and covers your mouth so that your mouth is frozen shut and goes, There we go. That's better. Good night, everybody. <laughs> For the best. Uh, Rung, you're struggling to breathe through this thing, you realise, quite quickly. She has oh, covered, she covered the your nose. nose and mouth in this ice. I, um, and there's a I'll, moment of panic where you're like... Melt. I'll, like, melt it off. The whole thing or just the, the whole nose? thing? Or just a little hole, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> just a couple holes. <laughs> uh, Rung, a few holes are like melted through to your nose, and you can breathe through your nose. But your your mouth and jaw are still frozen, partially shut. <laughs> Ooh, he's got goosebumps somehow on his head. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He just goes to sleep on his side, so he doesn't sleep on his back. Otherwise, he worries he will drown with the muzzle on. <laughs> Uh, after a few minutes, Ahini clicks her fingers and it shatters off your mouth. We're heading to the East Mare Temple. Was that wrong? What was that? Oh, I say, like, as soon as that shatters off, he immediately lies on his back and you just hear snoring. <laughs> Passed out from oxygen deprivation. <laughs> <laughs> the CPAP. <laughs> Uh, is it is it morning now? It's like is it is it like is it like the sun starting? Is like, there a bit it's of like one a.m.? Here? It's uh, <laughs> it's very dark and very early. Oh, it's my turn to keep watch. <laughs> okay, oh, well, I'll sit I'll sit up with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. You guys want to go get a get a bed shiver and roll? <laughs> I was gonna say I'm pretty sure he's already out. <laughs> Um, yeah, just wake me if you hear or see anything, and I just go and hear or see anything. Okay, there you go. <laughs> anything. Anything. I um I climb up into Mango's saddle and go to sleep. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, Rung, Shiva, you guys have a lovely night's sleep. Al and Akila. It's just you two alone, sitting on the little sort of makeshift outcropping Rung created that gives you a bit of a view over the valley below. Can we see what happened to the lights? Like, did you the, can did see the... there are a collection of lights heading back towards the town. Um, about sort of 10, 11 lights, maybe 12 lights heading back towards the town. <coughs> are they moving the cart? Maybe hard to, hard to see from back here. You don't know. So, so how'd you, how'd you end up out here? Did you, did you walk all the way? It's pretty far. 
Um, I'll be honest. It's all kind of a little blur. Um, after our run in, uh, you the, didn't dive the, into the water and just let the currents flow here. No, no, the currents wouldn't even flow here. Like, you're yeah, you're you're pretty far from the 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 the, the water tribe. I've just been sort of traveling, you know, searching myself, and just sort of going wherever. I guess the the water takes me, or the air, or the people that pick me up and let me travel with them for a little bit. Uh, we're, we're heading to the Eastern Air Temple next, or maybe Basi Se. I'm not sure. I think I think the Eastern Air Temple. Um, would you come with us, or do you want us to drop you off somewhere on the way? Um, I mean, I've got nowhere to be. Um, my family won't accept me back home, so. <laughs> You're the only people oh. I know. <laughs> so dark. <laughs> no, okay, well, yeah. You, you're not going to run off from us again, are you? I, I don't plan on it, as long as no one tries to, you know, cut my arms off. Why? We, we, both, we both look at Oki, just to make sure she's still sleeping in bed. Yeah. Oki's making this weird, like, chopping motion with her hand in her sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. Oh, she's practicing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think she's just filleting a fish in her dreams. Um, <laughs> filleting something. Um, Tofu. Is there is there any other motion or anything like that? No, the rest of the night passes without any incident. Um, uh, no uh, I'll just talk about puppets with uh, with Akila. I haven't made any <laughs> new ones. Can we play with your old ones? Yeah. <laughs> so you two are keeping watch. You're just like playing with the puppets together. Oh, well, we can keep watching and, and, and uh, play with the puppets at the same time. No, you cannot. There's no such thing as multitasking. You're changing attention and focusing in different things. So if you're focusing on playing puppets, you're having to like occasionally look up and be like, oh, is there anything? That's ah, probably fine. All right, puppets. Yay. Okay. okay what, we, if, we, what if we're not it's, it's, focusing on the puppets, but we're just like, you're just going like sort of like tossing them around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah. Um, the rest of the night passes without any incident. And as the sun rises over the mountains in front of you, a light in the valley below, you can see what looks to be the remains of a slightly burned cart just outside the front gates of the village. Um, and uh, a number of, uh, of, I think it's probably safe to say, quite angry people um, in the town square, still quite animated and, and, and moving around. You can see the figures sort of moving through the town square as well, off in the distance uh, of the town. I'll, I'll look very closely to make sure there aren't four hanging bodies in the middle of the. Of the, of the <laughs> yeah, there's like there's four crosses outside. <laughs> there's a dude just nailing. No. Um, you wake up, we're all just floating. Kill it, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wake up. Kila has control of you forever now. Yeah. Uh, no, as, as you, you do one more time. Time. <laughs> <laughs> You guys awaken feeling refreshed, having had a really good night's sleep. Um, after a, a brief breakfast, eating through some of your supplies, Achilles picked up some food along the way and has some supplies with him and has his own food. You guys climb back aboard Mango, take off, heading back through the, the fresh morning air further southeast. The land below you falls away, the valleys and mountain ranges dropping to become large open fields and forests. The northern section of the Earth Kingdom, at least this northeastern section, seems to be quite wild and untamed. Few villages pass by underneath you, mostly trees and forests, and the occasional open grassland. Small areas of hillocks and mountains rise like scars cutting through these sections of greenery, possibly areas that have been mined or have yet to be mined for their resources. A few mining outposts catch your eye, but nothing too significant along the way. Over the next day, two days, you guys spend flying over Earth Kingdom below you, stopping for regular rests to make sure that Mango has a chance to rest and eat some food, eat some leaves, eat some hay, and enjoy some of the, the fresh clean water from the, the springs or the, uh, the rivers nearby. Before far off in the distance you can see the Earth Kingdom opening up. The large walled city of Ba Sing Se, visible in the distance even from this great distance away. The lands around it are an open plain, and over towards the right the Siwong Desert, somewhere along its borders where this adventure started Beifong Estate 
you're still probably about a day's travel away from Ba Sing Se at this point. Oki and Ahini have been a little bit quiet and mostly keeping to themselves. But over time, Ahini has, sorry, Oki has warmed up to you a little bit, Akila. You still get the sense that she doesn't trust you, doesn't really like you, but she tolerates your presence and at least acknowledges you. Uh, that sort of cold, icy, ignoring gives way to the occasional, like, okay, like, maybe interacting with you a little bit, maybe answering questions if you ask them, maybe asking the occasional questions or you're like, and no one stoned you out of a village? Huh. Cool. A bit harsh, but... Uh, but the fact that you don't resort to your bloodbending at any point, that you are, I'm assuming you spend this time... Well, actually, you tell me, like, what? yeah, what would what would Akila be doing during this time? Are you trying to sort of ingratiate yourselves back with the gang? Are you... Yeah, what, what, what's Akila doing? I guess I'm just trying to, like... I guess, yeah, talk with everyone a little bit, just, like, see how they're doing, see what they've been up to um, while I've been off. Um, obviously, I haven't been up to much. Um, I've made that pretty clear. Yep. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, just catching up with everyone and just, uh, again, like, sort of reiterating uh, my my apologies for everything and trying to explain, yeah, like, what, like, why that happened, obviously, because of, um, you know, obviously, I wanted the, all this to be stronger for the, for the tribe and everything but and then just sort of yeah trying to push myself to sort of integrate yeah. with everyone again it sounds like you're being fairly open about the fact that you were manipulated by this this spirit that you yeah you didn't mean for any of this to happen it got really out of hand really quickly yeah um, Ooh, you yeah. kind of felt yourself swept along with the tide in this yeah okay um you guys can respond to that openness and honesty however you choose to i get the sense arl's already kind of on board Sherva's already said she wants to give you a killer a second chance and Rung hasn't thrown him off the Sky Bison, so all going well. I mean, um, when we were at the um, Northern Air Temple, we got the scrolls and and there were records of Yavu in, in the Air Nomad to- scrolls. Apparently he reaches out to Air Nomads when we're meditating or sleeping in some of our cases. And, you know, he claims he's he's wrongfully imprisoned in the spirit realm and, and tries to you know, organize a deal to, to a bargain to help him come out and restore balance. Like, no one knows how true it is, but he is known as very persuasive. Yeah, look, I, I wish I knew earlier. Um, but it's, it's good that we're sort of under the, um, uh, on the same boat now. On the same uh, bison. bison. And bison, ah, you beat me to it all. <laughs> <laughs> um, See, we like to have fun around here, killer. We've gotten, we've, we've gotten over these sort of things. We keep oh, it so light. Okay. Everyone's, light everyone's over being, it, huh? Lopping arms off. Wishes again, I look at Oki nearly... again, and I'm, I just look with like sorrow in my eyes. I don't say anything, but when you say like lobbing arms off, I just look and I'm like, Oki. Rather than giving you the dirty look, gives Rung the dirty look this time. (laughs) Not me. Yeah, that sore spot. Good. Probably too soon. It's only been like a week. (laughs) Oki looks around and goes, so is the plan to head to Ba Sing Se? I know you guys spoke about that a little bit earlier, thinking you might be interested. Are we are we still interested in popping by Ba Sing Se, or do you want to head straight to the Eastern Air Temple? What are you guys thinking? Ba Sing Se is on the way. We might be able to find ourselves a badger mole spirit. It's true, and we can pop in and say hi to Marco's dad, because I think, I think Marco misses him, because he talks about his daddy all the time. Marco, like, yeah, so like, who's he spent most of the time being quite quiet, sleep. looks and goes, um, pretty sure my dad's not in Barsing, say he was like outside the walls and then he was going to head back to the Fire Nation, so. Oh, I thought they were setting up camp there for like a while. Around yeah, but he'd the, been relieved by um, Commander Zhao. Oh, the old my bad. Line, this That's all right. Intricacies of Fire Nation politics are probably above a, a, a nomad, just saying. So. 
Yeah. Um, that's this Ooh. timeline because Zhao got promoted and the father was dead in the old timeline. Yeah, I was about to say, he's alive. <laughs> yeah. So that is 100% ah. this timeline because we met up with everyone at Ba Sing Se in this timeline. Yep. Um, yeah. Got it. Has Akila heard so any of this down. conversation? He's heard everything oh. you've just said now. Yeah, you. Well, no, like, you know a bit has about. Oki has a. I don't think you guys told him much about the the wish. Akila, do you do you remember if they I'm... spoke much about the wish to you? Mako's wish. Yeah. Very, very briefly. Okay, I wonder. I think they, I, they I... were like. You made a stupid wish with a with a yeah. spirit, and I think they, that's all I sort of got. They had to have mentioned a wish because otherwise words, you would have yeah. known that you needed Marco's blood. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm more concerned about people knowing about the badger mole. I know Did nothing about badger mole. Did he overhear yeah. that conversation at all? Uh, Heaney doesn't know much about the badger mole. Um, as you guys are sort of talking about the badger mole. She doesn't doesn't ring anything through. Like she's not. Okay. You guys haven't said anything about the types of spirits to her. What you're looking for? Just that there's three other yeah. spirits and they represent the nation. So she doesn't know really much about that. So, so she, there wouldn't be any okay. context for Badger Mole to trigger anything interesting in her mind. So she doesn't, doesn't okay. question it. Is there a way that I can like quietly talk to a small group of people on this <laughs> thing? Or it's pretty we, hard. We, you can meet me in the tail room. Code of silence. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to do when you're camping in the evenings because then as people go to different tasks, you guys can work together because you're not flying all night. Yeah. The, yeah. So it's easier to do during the night. But yeah, I mean, there could be one night camping where you take a Heaney aside. What would you be saying to a Heaney? Let's, let's do no, it. No, it's oh. not to a Heaney. Oh, okay, go. So we spoke about in the last session or two that we're looking for the badger mole, but it will only appear if people don't know that you're looking for it so Ahini was our bait so if you guys are mentioning the badger mole in front of Ahini and she knows we're looking for a badger mole it's going to ruin it no, I, I is think what I'm saying you take, you the, take the, the guys the, aside the, the, wedding, the wedding yeah. of the script was oh. only those who seek to find it to find it but you don't but the conclusion we reach is that you don't find it while you're looking for it yeah so our goal that we came up with was that if we were to go to Basing say we wouldn't tell the girls oh, Oki and Ahini that we're yeah because we're trying to see if we'll be able to find it if they don't know we're looking for it if that makes sense like if it'll appear for them so we Sh Sheva you're 100% right you're the tactician here I relinquish all captain duties over this one here I'll be quiet <laughs> no I was only concerned because I'm you were just like oh yes the badger mole <laughs> and I'm like oh <laughs> no. I'm I'm kind of kind of forgetful here. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know it was like two weeks ago, but <laughs> no, it's and it's okay. a really no, solid I don't plan. think it was two weeks ago. <laughs> I think it was like <laughs> three days ago. <laughs> yeah, but like it was, real oh, time yeah, it was, was two weeks ago. <laughs> Yep, that's fine. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. As long yeah, as at some it. point during the night I was able to remind the guys of this. So that they don't accidentally yeah. say something to a Heaney and ruin our plan. Yeah, we gotta like, keep an eye in. out for the platter ducks for the around. Stop talking. The platter duck spirits. Stop, stop, so we'll stop, stop, keep an eye out for Earth Nation platter ducks. Stop, stop. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Amazing. A wink, a wink at Sherva. As you guys you then need come back, you need to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> How did as you, you guys know? Then, as you guys then come Not back, that. then, that's the uh, winking was there. Yeah, yeah. Same. <laughs> as you guys come back to the rest of the group, uh, Oki and Ahini sort of sitting with Akila, having like because you guys left them all together, <laughs> and came back, and it's been clearly a little bit of an awkward conversation. Like, so Akila, how um, how are you finding the Earth Kingdom? Uh, it's uh it's really cold outside sleeping on the floor on the earth <laughs> uh, some people are really nice some not so much mm. the nice people are probably the ones whose sister's arms haven't been ripped off 
You're not there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> As you guys come back, Oki goes like, oh, thank Just God. Um, go so are we going to Bar Sing Say? What's happening? What are we doing? Um, You're muted, I, Dave, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> so we haven't passed Bar Sing Say yet, have we? No, 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 it's still a day's journey. It's like a day away. Uh, what do you guys think? Maybe we should just go straight <laughs> to the Eastern Air Temple and and hope that the other spirit figures itself out when it figures itself out. Yeah. Because we don't do know we... if it will be a Bar Sing Say or not. Yeah, there was stories of it, but do we know that the air is at the Eastern Air Temple for sure, the air spirit? Yes, I believe it moves yeah. every 100 or 200 so years. years. Yeah, yeah, and right yeah, okay. now it's it's been like 50 years at the Eastern Air Temple sightings. Well, we can always loop back to Ba Sing Se later. I think the Ba Sing Se one is going to be harder to find. From the Eastern Air Temple, it's... if you were to head to the Fire Nation, you'd have to pass Ba Sing Se. Yeah. Really? Oh no, you could go the other way around. No. Yeah, you could go, go uh, the round go planet. No, the Earth's flat. You can't yeah. go the other way. No, you yeah. can. The Earth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Because they're actually very close to each other. Yeah. In that regard. Um, I I think we could, I think passing say should be last point of call. Purely because we know that there's a lot of things happening there between the Fire Nation Probably and the Earth the Nation. Best last. And we don't want to get wrapped up in whatever's happening there before, like being stuck there for a long period of time before being able to complete the rest of what we're doing. Does that make I sense? I agree. Agree. Especially if it fits the theory that it appears when you're looking for it, but you're not looking for it. So mm. maybe maybe we'll just get lucky on the way. Yeah. Okay, and he like, wait, what? what wait, I don't know what, what you're that? talking about. What are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> like, you have to look for it, but not look for it. I was talking about. He's, he's talking about planet ducks or something like that. It's been weird about the whole planet duck thing ever since. No, I it would, it. yeah, the sky bison spirit is 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 a bit, yeah. So we'll yeah, we'll okay. go for that. Is there anything else we need to know about the sky bison spirit? A that it's a sky bison spirit. That's a that's a good thing for us to know. Like, what are we looking out for? What does it look like? Do you, do you guys know? Like, um, what did you learn from? It the only answer? comes out. It only comes out in stormy stormy days. Um, and lightning, stormy lightning days at night. Marco so sets up goes, Yeah, that sounds good. Cool, 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 cool. Yep. Yeah, we don't want you to get struck by lightning. Like mango, but more see-through. Oh, yeah, really? It also rotates temples every 200 years. Wait, it, it makes temples rotate? Like, turn them around? No, no, I think he means like it goes to different ones. Yep. Oh, okay. Spins them around. Right round, baby. Right round. You spin oh, wait, my I'm... temple right round. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that might be a good place to wrap up for tonight then. And then we'll have you guys continue traveling on to the Eastern Air Temple next session. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. That is it for Avatar Legends tonight. But we will be back again next week with more fun. And hopefully <laughs> Archie will have his camera on. Yay. Yay. Yay! Weren't you actually? Did that, did that cut out for anyone else? Or was that just me? It's just, it's just you. Just you. Oh, just me? Because they were like, that's a. That was like, that's a nut. Uh, 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 uh. I'm like, oh. oh. No, that's <laughs> just you. Just you, buddy. Um, yeah, um, yeah, awesome. I'll, I'll get the I overlay. Thought, I wasn't back sure with, if it was um, everyone else, my bad. I'll get the overlay back with the Keeler on it, and we'll have the Keeler's character art back up again so uh, Akila can Yay. come and join you guys for the next little bit. How exciting. Akila's character art is still up, by the way. Oh, on the, yeah. on the overlay. In the I'm rotating display. Yeah. It's, it's in the rotating, but not on the overlay, I'm guessing. Right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll put you back up in the overlay. And um, yeah, you keen to join us for a couple more weeks, Archie? Yeah. Um, please sign my petition. <laughs> Don't sign his petition. He's already on it. There's, like, the petition was so <laughs> unnecessary. Um, it's just, it's it's literally, but you, you hadn't even made the petition. I was like, yeah, man, jump on. And so then like he then spent another five minutes making this petition. I don't know I why you even I forgot what the word petition was. And I was like... <laughs> I was like, what is it called? A protest? I was like, that's a protest. Right. <laughs> that's right. I'm on a hunger I did, strike. I think partition, like a hard drive. Oh, no, or like, or partition. partition. We're going to separate. I'm going to separate blood benders from all the other benders. Partition is happening right there. Unbelievable. Um, so thank you so much, everybody. Person. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Um, we will be, I'll be back doing something on Saturday morning. I don't know what it is yet. It might be a little bit of arc. It might be something else. I'll let you know. And then we'll be back for more Avatar Legends next week. So until then, stay safe. Stay well. See you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.